It's Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. Today's video, I want to talk about uncertainty. The future of this country is very uncertain. I was watching a video earlier this morning and they were interviewing Doug Casey and they asked him, what is your definition of a depression? And Doug Casey said this, it's a consequence of distortions cranked into the economy by taxes, regulations, and inflation. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt America is in a depression. And uh, earlier this afternoon, I was in downtown Palm Springs. Many of you may have vacationed in Palm Springs, know of Palm Springs. It's an international destination. And it is. It does not even resemble the the city it looked like a year ago. Um, very, very disturbing. Uh, I, I shot a video down there uh, probably what about a month ago, month plus, and it's shocking to see uh, what has happened. But uh, as I was down there uh, earlier this afternoon, um, it looks like an example of a depression, when you see the lease signs, when you see the restaurants empty, nobody dining in or out, when you see the retailers completely empty, uh, the streets empty. I mean, a beautiful 75 degree day today in mid-January, and I literally could probably count maybe 15, 20 people walking uh, down the streets of uh, downtown Palm Springs. It's, it's, uh, Shocking. All I can say is I, I've never seen uh, anything like it, w what we're witnessing take place. Yet there are people out there saying that a recovery is taking place. And there's no doubt a recovery is taking place. It's just not a recovery that is taking place for you or myself. It's taking place uh, with the wealthy, with the rich. The rich continue to get richer and the poor and middle class continue to get more poor. And we're watching a government now not printing hundreds of billions of dollars. We're watching the government print trillions of dollars like it's monopoly money. It's nothing. We throw around trillions now uh, like it was hundred dollar bills. It's nothing. And um, this is another reason uh, why you better be preparing daily. Because when we are printing this kind of money, uh, the dollar bill into oblivion, uh, bad things are going to come. There's no doubt. There, there is no doubt uh, that we are going to witness the worst collapse the world has ever seen. There is no doubt that they are going to absolutely blow up the U.S. dollar. It is, it is going to come to the point where it buys nothing. It's not buying much now. You know that every time you go to the grocery store, as they tell you there's no inflation or inflation's 2%, tell me that every week when I go to the grocery store to buy meat, to buy poultry, to buy fish, to buy a box of cereal or a loaf of bread. The inflation is soaring. And now we're watching gas prices at the pump go up. But that's okay. The rich get richer while we get obliterated. You know, it's like this money that they're printing. Uh, digits on a screen. It's all going down a funnel. And at the bottom of the funnel, you have the 1%. They're, they're, they're taking all the money. None of this money is, it's not getting to the economy. It's not getting to the people it needs to be getting to. It's not getting to small, medium business. These people are at the bottom of the funnel taking all of this money. It is not getting passed around. It is not going where it needs to go. But as I um, go back to what I was saying earlier about the devastation I'm seeing right in my local area, downtown Palm Springs, um, how many of those stores are going to cease to exist uh, by the end of 2021 that we will not see because they're so far behind on rent and lease payments? Uh, the devastation is obvious, ladies and gentlemen. And here's some more. I was reading this uh, yesterday. Macy's closing Water Tower Place, the Macy's store down there, Water Tower Place, after 45 years. Uh, 17% of the Miracle Mile in Chicago is now 
vacant. In fact, I think it's 17.5%. 17.5% .5%. Uh, 17 .5 of the Miracle Mile is now vacant. And there goes Macy's after 45 years gone. So where are all these people going to find a job? Um, where where the, 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 the people that worked at these other stores and restaurants, the 17.5%, where are all these people going to go? Where's everybody going to find a job? You're going to be competing against people coming here from all over the world. You're going to be competing against robotics. You're going to be, be competing against technology. Um, and most people are finding out that their job is not essential. They don't consider you essential. They are going to replace you uh, with a robot with technology or somebody from another country who's gonna work much cheaper. CNBC, the unemployment rate is above 20% for the lowest paid workers, Feds Brainerd says. Um, I would probably bet that that number is probably closer to 40%. Um, it, it's just really uh, getting, getting crazy, ladies and gentlemen. And um, don't forget, these people uh, who are unemployment are going to have to pay taxes on that unemployment. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go on. CNBC. Nordstrom shares drop as retailer says holiday sales tumbled 22%. Uh, Dow Jones was only down eight, uh, eight points today. Uh, which I find amazing because we're seeing, uh, I believe, 20,000 troops at the Capitol. We've witnessed the president impeached twice now. Uh, we are in a depression. Uh, we have tens of millions of people jobless in America receiving unemployment. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. And then on top of that, we have a retail apocalypse taking place. Uh, we have a commercial real estate depression taking place. Uh, you name it, it's going on. And yet Dow Jones uh, down only eight points today. If this isn't enough reason for all of you to be protecting yourselves with real assets like gold and silver, I don't know what is. But let's, let's go a little uh, more into this article. Nordstrom's shares drop 22%. Um, what, is this, what does this mean? I, I mean, uh, how much longer can this economy survive? Again, the money's not flowing into the economy. It's not flowing into your pockets or mine. Uh, opportunity is not flowing. Uh, we're seeing wealth inequality, opportunity inequality uh, at levels we have never seen in the history of America. But Target, Walmart, and Best Buy, they're all doing well. Um, and you can bet once we get that uh, $2,000 stimulus check, which they're already saying is going to happen immediately, um, once that happens, you can bet that we're going to see shares in Target, Walmart, and Best Buy go through the roof first quarter of 2021 because the average American uh, is going to take that money and they're going to either blow it uh, on the Robinhood account or they're going to blow it at Target, Walmart, or Best Buy. Uh, unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me, that's the reality of things in America. Another article on CNBC, hospitality industry, this is for November, sees drop in job openings and surge in separations as shutdowns take hold. Boy, if you're in the hospitality or leisure industry, my heart goes out to you. It really does. I mean, you talk about a nuclear bomb going off. You talk about a depression. Look at leisure and hospitality. Uh, just horrific uh, what we're seeing take place. How about another one here on CNBC? Boeing's 2020 aircraft cancellations worst on record despite December max orders. Customers canceled more than 650 planes in 2020. This is the worst year Boeing has ever had. Stock market only down eight points today, and we're, we're still sitting at all-time highs. I mean, look at what is going on. Um, Bitcoin, around $36,000 today, and yet gold and silver uh, moved a little bit today, but they should be exploding. Problem is, Bitcoin isn't manipulated yet. Gold and silver are manipulated, but I do believe that that manipulation will do a 180. I believe that, uh, I, I, I truly believe that the central banks uh, and countries are only going to let Bitcoin 
exist for so long before they begin to regulate it. Uh, and I do believe at some point we're going to see a bubble take place uh, in gold and silver. Uh, is Bitcoin paving the road, paving the way for gold and silver? Um, maybe Bitcoin will be backed by gold and silver. Uh, all I know is that when you have something backed by nothing with a 10-year history versus gold and silver that has a 6,000-year history, uh, that cannot just be man-made. It's it, 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 it is uh, God's money. It's it, it takes horsepower and manpower to dig it out of the ground, melt it down. Uh, it cannot be created. It has to be dug out. Has to be found. Um, it, it's just amazing uh, how things are just absolutely crazy today. That um, we can have something literally. Uh, made out of thin air, backed by nothing. And I'm not, again, uh, let me repeat, uh, I'm not judging or criticizing anybody for being cryptocurrencies because I believe anything you can do to get out of the system, um, great. To get out of the dollar, great. But I have a hard time digesting uh, this notion that um, something was created with computers, has a 10-year history, it's backed by nothing other than faith, uh, just like the dollar, backed by nothing but faith, um, yet it's $36,000 today, yet gold and silver are just slumping along. I find that hard to believe, but I truly do believe gold and silver will have their day because there will be no choice. You know, um, America took the world off the gold standard, and I believe the world is going to put put America back on the gold standard. It's going to want something uh, with a history. It's going to want something that just can't be created out of thin air. Walmart customers don't expect a speedy economic recovery, top executive says. That's also on CNBC today. Um, yeah, no doubt, because every time they go to Walmart, they're seeing that their dollars are buying less and less. They're seeing inflation. They're seeing the prices uh, of food and goods going up. And remember, when people do get that $600 stimulus check, when they get that $2,000 stimulus check, they're going to be running to places like Walmart and they're going to be buying more Chinese products. So our government's going to give us more money to keep propping up and supporting the Chinese economy. While we're making nothing here, while we're producing and manufacturing nothing here, while we're not creating jobs and opportunity here, we're going to continue to give people money so that they can spend it at stores like Walmart and Target to buy products made in China, going to make China richer, more powerful, and more dependent. Uh, we will be more dependent than ever on China. How being unemployed in 2020 could lead to a surprise tax bill. I touched on this earlier. Millions received unemployment benefits in 2020. They also received $600 weekly benefits uh, up to the end of July 2020, thanks to the CARES Act. Many will now owe taxes to the federal government and to their state. These people who didn't have any taxes withheld from their unemployment payments are going to be in for a surprise. So isn't this lovely? Um, while people don't have opportunity while they don't have jobs, while they're becoming more dependent on the government for money, uh, while people are sitting at home not being productive, now they're going to pay taxes on the money that the government gave them. So while, the, while your economy was shut down, while your job was shut down, you're now going to be responsible to pay taxes on the money that the government uh, gave you. So how do these people, many of these people, how are they ever going to pay this money back when they're still unemployed, their jobs are permanently gone, uh, they're having a hard time finding a job, and now they're going to be on the hook uh, to the U.S. government to pay these taxes back. Uh, and guess what? They charge interest, and it's not 2 or 3%. It's quite high. So how does the average American who thought that this money was free now pay it back with no job, um, what a disaster we're witnessing, ladies and gentlemen. So as we watch the all-time highs in the stock market, while the country's divided, while we have 20,000 troops uh, in Washington, 
while we are witnessing a retail apocalypse, while we are witnessing tens of millions of people go jobless, millions of people go hungry, uh, opportunity is just disappearing. Uh, we have never seen things so bad in America. We're in a depression, period. Yet we are watching the markets at all time highs. And what's, what, what continues to be more interesting in this twilight zone is we have companies like Tesla today, Tesla, a share of Tesla today on the NASDAQ is going to cost you $854. Now, this isn't just overpriced. It's stratospheric. I mean, this, is, this absolutely makes no sense whatsoever, but it just uh, reassures me that this is going to end very, very badly for so many people and why you should be buying gold and silver while it's on sale. You need to be you need to be holding something real. Look, when this whole thing implodes, I don't want to be holding shares of, of Tesla. I want to be holding ounces of gold and silver. Article. General Motors delivered 2.5 million vehicles in 2021, and it has a market value of $62 billion. Tesla delivered 499,000 vehicles, a half a million. Yet it has a market value of $750 billion dollars. And you can thank that to all the Robin Hooders and you can thank that to you can thank the government who's giving everybody all this stimulus, uh, the, the 600 and 300 dollar benefits, because so many people are taking that money and they're throwing it into the stock market and they're buying uh, companies like Tesla pushing uh, their stock prices uh, to the moon. It's going to end very, very badly. We have so many people investing in these markets, so many people on Robinhood now who have no idea what they're, what they're doing. And these people are going to get wiped out. There's so many people now in these markets, and, and many of them forced into these markets because uh, they're earning nothing at the bank, and so they've decided to um, gamble uh, in these markets, and they're going to pay the ultimate price here. These people are going to get wiped out. This, this is not going to last, ladies and gentlemen. People continue to be drunk on the euphoria that uh, Wall Street uh, cannot uh, be crushed, that it will not collapse. Uh, people believe that the U.S. dollar is going to last forever. Uh, look, they believe that the insurance policy is the Federal Reserve, that if there's any problems uh, in the stock market, the Fed is going to come to the rescue. And if you're relying on the Fed to come to your rescue, you're going to be in very, very big trouble because sooner or later, all those artificial injections, uh, they begin to take a toll and they're going to, the, the medicine has less and less effect on the infection. And this infection that we now have on Wall Street is going to just run wild and devastate millions of people. It is, listen, listen ladies and gentlemen, these markets will collapse, not saying it's going to happen tomorrow or next week or even next month, but we are on the road to Venezuela here. We are on the road to collapse. We have a collapsing dollar right now. We have a stock market that has been 100% propped up by the Federal Reserve. We have a stock market uh, riding, riding with training wheels, okay? We cannot take those training wheels off. We cannot raise interest rates because the minute we do, everything collapses. The Fed is holding the hand of these markets right now, and if it lets go, it is a global collapse. I want to close with one last article. It's on the hedge today. Russia holds more gold than dollars, first time in history. And you should ask yourself a question, why aren't you holding some gold or some silver? According to the Central Bank of Russia, Gold made up 23% of the Central Bank of Russia's reserves as of the end of June. The bank's share of dollar assets dropped to 22%. Back in 2018, more than 40% of Russia's reserves were in dollars. This is a trend that I think is going to become more popular and it's going to continue with other countries. And as this does continue, it is going to lead to very, very big problems here in America. The more countries that wake up and get off the dollar standard and go to a gold standard means that the standard of living in America is going to get much, much worse. We are watching, you are watching the standard of living 
maybe even your standard of living is going down. I'm gonna tell you right now, it is costing more to drive somewhere. It's costing more to uh, go buy a shirt or, or, or some shoes. It's costing more to go to the grocery store. Health insurance is costing more. Um, rent is costing more. Everything is costing more. And as we see more countries start dumping dollars and looking at other options, whether that's cryptos or it's gold, um, your standard of living is gonna pay a price here, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it there today. Uh, so much happening. It's gonna be an interesting uh, 2021. I believe it's gonna be a very, very rough year for millions of people, so prepare accordingly. Um, have a wonderful evening. Have a good week. Talk to all of you very soon.